Hey, 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 here we are. Still training for two marathons and a half marathon. Uh, this is week three. Stay tuned. So one of the seasons usually hits around October when the aspen starts to turn yellow. I don't know if you can tell by the video, but it looks like it's starting. <laughs> Halfway point, two miles in, two to go. Uh, Oh man, we have less than a mile to complete our four miles for today. Uh, so stick around. Thanks for watching and we've got some things to tell you, some tips to share. Hey, hey everybody. Thanks for joining us again. Uh, for our uh, training. Uh, again, uh, we're training for uh, two uh, full marathons and a half marathon uh, coming up in 2025. This is week three. And, you know, if you've been watching, we've been sharing our, our journey, uh, sharing our, um, our sticker chart. And uh, hey, if you haven't, please like. Uh, and if you think about it, subscribe. Uh, and if you hit the notifications bell, you will get uh, uh, notified. I guess that's why they call it a notification bell. <laughs> Anytime we upload. <laughs> now we're, we're really trying our best to uh, do this every week. Boy, we want to share with you how this week started out and it all has to do with... Okay. Oh, our arrow gardens. It all has to do with our arrow gardens. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, all right, so this was uh, Labor Day week. Mm -hmm. The the week started with Labor Day, and uh, mm -hmm. so we had that day off work. We went for a little run on Monday. It's a good thing we did. Yeah, we did. Hey, hey, it's week three, and look who's out running. Not on a Saturday. And it's not a Saturday. <laughs> because what I'm about to tell you meant that we didn't feel like running for a couple days. Um, so we went for a run. It was super sloggy. We were very slow. Our yeah. legs were very heavy, but we got out there and we did it. Cool, we, great. One sticker, done. We did get out there. We did. Um, Tuesday. <laughs> <laughs> so Tuesday. Um, uh, well, well, we have, uh, check, take a look at our arrow gardens. You know, we haven't updated you on our arrow gardens. They have been. They're blowing up. Plentiful. Yeah. Look at this. So we decided on a uh, Tuesday. Uh, partially in honor of a friend who used to make these for us and it was her birthday and yeah. we were like, hey, for your birthday, this yeah. is what we're doing. Um, also, partially because we just had a boatload of peppers on the uh -huh. on our jalapeno and cayenne plants uh -huh. 
on the Arrow Garden. Let's make some candied jalapenos. Yeah, really delicious too. They came out. I mean, well, we haven't we haven't no, been no, able no. to taste them yet. No, no, but no, the in, jalapenos and the cayenne peppers have yeah. been really delicious. We've been using them yes. stir fry. We've been using them in South. But we just had too many to just to eat fresh, and these ones have been like kind of spicy. Oh, so yeah. we plucked as many as we could. We ended up with like little less, maybe like a quarter pound less than a, a pound. Uh -huh. Uh, that's three quarters of a pound if you're paying attention to my weird <laughs> wonky math here. So anyway, we had to go to the store to buy like a few more pounds of jalapenos to, to make the full recipe. Yeah. But um, we had everything set out, ready to go. And then one of our friends um, here has been on a cross-country road trip for six weeks. So they came back into town, invited us over for a s'mores dinner, which was so awesome. Oh boy. Anyway, yeah, we didn't get home till like 8.30. And for some reason at 8.30 p.m., I was still like, you know what? Let's do this today. Yeah. This is a good idea yeah. to do this today. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, and by the way, if you haven't had uh, vegan marshmallows. Dandies. They're called dandies. Are delightful. They are dandy. They are awesome. They toast. They melt in hot cocoa, just they, like marshmallows. They feel they, and oh, taste just, just like marshmallow. Good, but that's no gelatin. Had, that's what yeah. we had for our uh, it was our, awesome. our dinner. Yeah, and it was so, really, anyway, really nice. Sorry, we get back. Okay. 8.30 okay. at night. 8.30, I'm like, let's, let's do this. So, uh, yeah. we start in and it, you know, it takes a while. We've got a, um, you know, the stove in here. I have a big brew kettle. It's a, it's a big pot, um, from when I used to homebrew, when we used to homebrew, yeah. um, which we're going to get back into beer. It's on our yeah. list this winter to maybe try again. Um, we had to, you know, sterilize the, the jars, which meant we had to bring this big pot of water to a boil, let them boil for a while. Took us a while to actually like cook the syrup mm -hmm. and cook the jalapenos in it. And then we had to can everything and then we had to process everything. So we had to get that big thing back to a boil, let right. it boil for a while. Right. All said and done, I was standing over the stove for like three hours. three hours. Like the stove was running for three hours. In fact, we counted that as our work, well, excuse me. I counted that as my workout <laughs> on Tuesday. Hang on to find out what David counted as his workout on Tuesday night. <laughs> Okay, so, um, you know, it took us a long time. Finally, like, 11.30. Yeah. Whew, we're done. Everything's processed. It's sitting. It's cooling on the counter. Great. We can turn everything off. Whatever. We finally sit down. We watch some TV. And this is well past our bedtime, by the oh, way. Right, but we were just so wired yeah. from all the sugar we had for dinner. And also, you know, <laughs> yeah. from, like, just all the I'm activity. Yeah, yeah. And it's fun, you know? Okay. Yeah. We're, we're, we're it's, making this. It's, it's really neat. And yeah. we ended up with, like, 12 jars. Mm -hmm. 11, 11 jars, most of them jalapenos, some of them the leftover syrup. Sure. So like, yeah. we're, we're super excited about all so, that. Midnight. Midnight-ish, we're sitting down, we're finally watching some TV. Mm -hmm. And what we think are our smoke detectors start, start going off. And we're like, oh, shoot, what's going on? Then we learn that our smoke detectors talked to us and it was not the smoke detector going off, it was the carbon monoxide. The, the <laughs> silent killer. So we had our propane stove going for three straight hours, and apparently we were just filling our house with carbon monoxide the whole time. Mm. So again, it's midnight. We live in the middle of nowhere. We do have a fire department here, but it's like, you know, do we want to call them out at midnight to, you know, whatever. Yeah. Um, it's completely silent outside, yeah, yeah. generally speaking. We had to open all of our doors with this beep, 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 beep. Yeah. Open all the doors, we turn on all the fans. It's like 40 degrees outside, by the way. David, this is where David's work at. We, we found like a piece of cardboard. He's standing by the, <laughs> the detector, like, like fanning for it. For like half an hour. <laughs> <laughs> so we finally... Oh, uh, uh, and we, the reason we know it's carbon mm -hmm. monoxide because our carbon monoxide detectors, we also realized, uh, speaks to it, us. It told us exactly and what was happening. So it's saying carbon monoxide... Giving us dire uh, warnings. Uh, uh, seek fresh seek air. Seek fresh air. You know, and it's like, oh... Do you God. want to die? <laughs> no! Know. So, you know, yeah. we open up everything, yeah. get it all, and it, it was weird. It's like the kitchen's over here. Mm -hmm. This detector never went off. It's like it all like snaked through to this mm -hmm. part of the house over yeah. here. That ha I mean, none of our house actually has ventilation. We don't have HVAC here. Yeah, we don't. You know, we don't have any vents. We don't have any centralized air or heat or anything. Yeah. So we're kind of an enclosed box, yeah. we realize now. Yeah. So it we just kind of collected in the hall over here. Turned and didn't on the go ceiling anywhere. fans. Right. Uh, uh, so we finally got it to like stop. And we're like, oh, thank God. Yeah, half an hour lines, right? So 1230-ish, uh, it stops. It stops. And we're, and like, we're like, Phew, let's close the windows and the doors yeah. and watch some TV. Yeah. And then boom, 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 it started up like as soon as we closed everything. So we opened everything back up, went through all of that again. Um, finally got it to stop, but we decided we didn't want to die in our sleep. No. 
So we're gonna leave all the doors and windows and fans on, like all doors and windows open and the fans on all night long, full oh, blast. Um, <clears throat> again, 40 degrees, we slept under three blankets on we our flannel sheets. And we slept in ships. Pretty much, I mean, we didn't plan that, but we were like kind of not restfully sleeping yeah. all night long because, you know, we wanted to make sure the other one was breathing. Yeah. We made it through the night. The detectors haven't gone off again. We are now researching uh, induction stovetops because we don't want to deal with this. No. That goes back to the homebrew thing. Like yeah. homebrew, you're going to be over there boiling stuff mm -hmm. for hours too. I want to die making beer. Right. So, you know, let's, uh, whatever. So that was our adventure on Tuesday. <laughs> yeah. Where <laughs> I was like lifting and standing and doing a bunch of stuff and you were fanning for our, you know, yeah. cross training workout. So just, just, just for a little bit of background, our two sources of fuel here are propane or wood. Yeah. And so we use. I mean, propane. we have electricity, obviously. Well, but, uh, yeah, but, yeah, uh, uh, yeah. So I'm sorry, three. Uh, <laughs> uh, but uh, I, I really think we're going to switch to electricity. I think, I think we're going to switch. I think we're going to switch. Hey, so, if you if you have experience with an induction stovetop, let, yeah, let us know. know. <laughs> we've heard we've heard <laughs> a lot, a lot of, of research everything, right? all of a sudden uh, we on really, this subject. We really want to do it. <laughs> Any, anyway, anyway, so that so, was that so was our. All that to say, Wednesday yeah. was trash. Like we were yeah. completely worthless. We didn't do anything all day Wednesday, awesome. and then Thursday it was raining all day, so we didn't yeah. get out on yeah. Thursday Massive either. So that storm. meant we had to like catch up on Friday and Saturday. Mm -hmm. So Friday we went for a little run. Okay. Hey, it's Friday, and we're out for our second run. This week was a doozy. It was. Boy, we have a lot to tell you. Huh? A little, just like move yep. our legs run, and yep. we did some yoga. Yep. Today, we did our four-mile run, and we did some yoga. Yay. How was our run today? It was awesome. It was, it was uh, painful. It was, I mean, these, these mountains, I, I, I struggle to not say hills. Yeah. Because they're not hills. They're not hills, man. They're, they're mountains. They're very steep. Yeah. And, and that's just on, like, the roads around mm -hmm. here. Just, mm -hmm. it's so, we're going through so many inclines. It's hard. Yeah. And uh, and we're breathing really hard. I mean, if you watch the footage, like yeah, oh yeah, man. It, 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 you really do feel like you're going to you're going to have a, an alien chest buster mm -hmm. come through. Mm -hmm. Um uh, my my workout says I I did 300 feet of elevation mm -hmm. uh, on on our run today. Yeah. It's hard to see that I think in the video it footage. It never translates to the footage. We doesn't. try every time like, oh, this is such a steep hill. This yeah. will totally and, show and it's, and it's like, like it looks like a sidewalk. Oh, uh, they're know, so steep. Zero feet. But anyway, so uh, but we had a uh, I think we did really well today. It's the longest we've run in a very long time. Uh, and we averaged around 13 minutes per mile. Mm -hmm. And again, for us, that's, that's, that's all right. right. That's booking it, right? Yeah, I need <laughs> to go back and look at what we were doing. So last year when we moved here, we went from like, you know, running where we were accustomed to running mm -hmm. to running here, which was like really different. Yeah, and I, I think we were pulling like over 14 minute miles yeah, on least... every run, no matter what we did. So two things have changed. First, we have acclimated somewhat to the altitude. Yeah. Um, but also we're doing shorter intervals, shorter run intervals, and that seems to really be helping us a lot. Yeah. So before, uh, last year we were doing like two minutes running mm -hmm. and like one minute or 45 seconds mm -hmm. walking. And it just slowed us down over time. I think so, Like yeah. having to run two minutes is really daunting here. Yeah. Because yeah. <laughs> you're going straight uphill. Yeah. So um, we're doing 30 30s and it's, it's all right. So far, I mean, we haven't so done this super long distances yeah, yet. So far, but so far, it's yeah. like it's working out for us. I think. So there are three three things that I want to share with you. Uh, 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 I don't really want to call them tips, but three things that I'm trying to concentrate You're being on. Mindful of. Yeah, uh, during our run. So uh, the first one is my posture. Uh, looking back at our older videos, like older videos, maybe our first half marathon, mm -hmm. our first marathon. Uh, we both agree that our posture during running wasn't very good. Uh, we were kind of hunched over, uh, you know, not like opening up our, our chest. Mm -hmm. And um, one of the things I realized, and we'd make, I, I'd laugh at myself about it, is I, I was kind of like shuffle running and I could hear my footfalls like scraping the ground. Yeah, like, uh, which, you know, isn't good. I, I guess it's counterproductive. So, we have been focusing a lot on trying to uh, make sure our posture is uh, better uh, on our runs. And so far, I think we're doing a good job. And, and we look at, you know, we look at the footage when we edit it, and, and I think we're doing much yeah. better in that regard. Yeah. Number two, because we're doing this, uh, uh, the gym boss is fantastic. We're trying really, really hard to make sure that when the gym boss beeps, we, we get on it. 
So every other, you know, or every 30 seconds, we're either running or we're walking. And so we're trying to be very mindful. Uh, when it beeps, start running. When it beeps, start walking. And, and, and just kind of focus on that, which leads to number three for me. If I can't run faster, I can walk faster. So uh, instead of just being like, oh gosh, it's, I'm done running and just doing this walk, you know, the kind of walk that you're in when you're standing in line in Space Mountain. You know, you or know? when you're going up a really steep hill. <laughs> yeah, right. We're trying. We're, we're, trying. we're trying. So so part of that is posture and like, you know, really swinging my arms and making sure that I'm not on a leisurely walk for that 30 seconds. Because again, if I can't run faster, I, I can try to walk faster. And, and I think those three things for me and maybe you are, are helping us um, just, you know, train better. So, yeah. uh, and again, this is a different training route, training plan overall for us. Instead of just trying to like do it, <laughs> we're trying to like get better. Oh, yeah. We're trying to do it yeah. faster yeah. than we have in the past, a yeah. marathon. So um, we're, we're approaching it a little differently and a little more, I felt like I tried on today's run. <laughs> <laughs> Instead yeah. of just like going on like, hmm. uh, yeah. like I actually pushed. Yeah. Yeah, you did. You did great. Beyond a comfort level. Yeah. <laughs> you did great. So anyway, that's our update for uh week three. Yes. Um uh good luck tomorrow to anybody running the Disneyland Halloween half marathon. Oh, and yeah. congrats to anybody who did the 10K today or the yeah, 5K. Yeah, so. yeah, we've been uh, following along. Way to go. Congratulations. Uh hey. I think that's really cool. We're looking forward to our half marathon in Disneyland in uh, yeah. uh, early 2025. What is that? February? Be uh, February. That's yeah, our first February. race. Yeah. So again, thanks for following. We are training. We love it that you're following along and we love the comments. Please keep them coming. Again, let us know uh, what you focus on on your runs. Help us help ourselves in that way. Uh, we're, we're excited that we, uh, hey, we're sticking to it. And mm. like I always say. It is always an adventure with you. We'll see you next week.